One of JWB's areas of focus is strengthening community. Our Mid-County Community Council continued that focus by hosting the second annual Pinellas Park Community Resource Fair. This free to the public event featured more than 50 local vendors who offered area families resources, information, and education. All geared toward the theme and focus of the event, cultivating connections. This is the second community resource fair that the Mid-County Community Council with other partners in the community put together as a way to bring resources to families. I'm extremely happy the amount of vendors that we have, over 50 vendors. We invited providers from health, education, training, employment, transportation, things that we know are needed in the community and we have representations for each category. We have everything translated in Spanish, Vietnamese, Portuguese, because we know this community is, uh, is growing uh, and we have a very diverse community in Pinellas Park. Young people greeted families and served them as they arrived. Not only were there multiple vendors at the ready to answer questions and provide resources and services, but there were also amazing giveaways to children and families. One of the highlights for the children was a raffle from a huge supply of books, educational games, and toys. Ray Explorations provided a, a three-month pass to attend their museum. The Police Athletic League gave us two bikes to raffle off, uh, just to mention a few. This is our second time doing this event. The event is to bring the information and awareness of all the programs and services that are available and to help these families know how to contact to get certain services or programs for themselves or their families. The key behind all of this is we want to be able to change folks' lives and make themselves be a little better than they were the day before and maybe raise the next doctor or the next president from here. Along with all the written information available everywhere you look, there were also items of comfort given away as well like 250 warm blankets donated by Pinellas County Emergency Management. We have the kind mouse, they donated uh, 450 bags of food. We want to make sure that the family that comes to this uh, community resource, they're not only uh, walking away with information, but with tangible prices and tangible things that can help them better in their own community. This has been a very collaborative effort with the community councils, with the Lelman Asian Neighborhood Family Center, the Police Athletic League, the Hispanic Outreach Center, Ultimate Medical Academy, a Kind Mouse, JWB. So this has been great and uh, the community is going to benefit from these events as we're moving forward. I need the community to know that there's things out there to help them and you're not alone in what your challenges are. What we're doing is knocking down that barrier of not knowing where to go get these services or who to even talk to and putting you in direct contact with those services. So this is an opportunity for you to grow, for your family to grow, and for us to help you along on that journey. The Tree of Life, what we're doing is we're trying to make everybody inclusive, that we're all a part of the tree and on those trees are branches and leaves and we were trying to just be that support so that your limbs can grow as well as your leaves flourish.